effective immediate effective immediate so there are some big shifts major transitioning energies happening hopefully it is for the positive no matter what it is for the positive some of you definitely are experiencing a new beginning that has to do with being enough you know being enough giving enough balance after feeling pretty left out in the cold after someone seeing you your soul tribe is coming towards you all of those negative situations in life where it's like nothing ever works out for me things are working out for you and it's because of the work that you put in you put in so much work you do so much and you know that there's always room for improvement the improvement in your life is coming in and the help that you need is coming through the support that you need I don't know if you guys have recently been praying or asking for help. That could be the case. People are going to start seeing you in a different light. They're going to start seeing you as the royalty that you are. Because your ideas are going to be paying off in a major way. Yes ideas creativity your fashion some of you work in fashion some of you are spiritualists some of you are just really great intuitive moms okay and you're creating something new innocent fresh and people just want to see that i'm hearing and dads and or dads okay there is this nurturing energy, this familiar energy coming through as well. It's the sacrifices you make. You make so many sacrifices and you're just constantly like, dang, you know? How many sacrifices do I have to make before I get what I deserve? But those days are over it. You're getting what you deserve. And it's your patience and your intuition that has brought you to this point. So don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith about the situation. You got this. Don't second guess yourself. Trust your intuition. Um, it's your emotional intelligence that's been helping you through this whole entire process, okay? You are a mystery. People are just like, what is going on? <laughs> There's a lot of emotions, um, emotional energy. I do see, pe see, see people praying to the moon for you, like talking to the moon, getting real deep, wondering what you do <laughs> during new moon cycles. Like, do you worship the moon? People don't, they can't figure you out. If this is in a romantic relationship, you've changed in a way and this person is like, okay, well, I know I need to do something. I know it's time for me to step up and do something. Wow, this could definitely be a divine counterpart situation. Someone is definitely feeling some sort of psychic link, psychic connections to you. We have the king and the queen of pentacles. If you think for one second someone isn't paying attention to you or someone's this person is 100% in tune with your energy. They could be trying to connect with you more in the 5D than in reality. Do not 
allow that energy to happen if it does not make you feel good okay just because you have a psychic link does not mean that you don't deserve a 3d connection that is for some of you who feel this way let's get some more messages and see what else do you need to know about this divine counterpart this secret admirer okay <laughs> Someone is waiting for the time is right. They feel like you have a lot going on in your life right now. You have a lot going on. Maybe they have a lot going on. But they're hoping that you will trust your intuition and the process and wait for them. Make time for them. They definitely feel like this connection that they share with you is divine and that you guys are divine counterparts. Okay. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That's. That's so many. That's so many cards. I'm going to grab. It's like you cause some sort of shakeup in their life. Okay, some of you could have ended something with this person or this person has a major fear of some sort of ending with you. They feel like your presence is magical and chaotic at the same time. It's like they feel this whirlwind of emotions and they're constantly on edge. We do have really strong... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Gemini coming through, Aries, and we have Libra, Sagittarius, energy could be significant. There could be some distance between you. This could be emotional. This could also be physical. But it has to do with their warped per perception of what a relationship should be this is someone who's always used to getting exactly what they want and being told no has this person feeling like wow really seriously you told me no you made me wait there is this need for you to stand in your full power and be this queen of wands okay be this actual vibrational match to this person so yeah there is a tower of of emotions between you that's what i'm seeing i definitely want to pull some cards and see what are they thinking about you what are they thinking about this situation it just seems like you're not bending and hopefully you have you know put up some sort of boundary with this person and not bend to their will because the moment that you give them what they want, they do something that just completely throws you off spiritually. And you cannot risk being thrown off spiritually at this point. You're creating something massive. You've, you've invested a lot of time, even into your happiness, even into your emotional stability. So you cannot allow this person to come in and throw you off of your high frequency wave, okay? So let's just get into this really quick and see what is this person thoughts about you and the connection in the present moment. Oh, so I feel the same way. So we have the two of cups. You guys are mirroring each other. And then we do have, I'm obsessed with your body and I'm ready, but this was in reverse. So I just kind of feel like, it's not that this person is obsessed with your body. Okay, even though it says that it was in reverse, I'm hearing that it's, it's not just, it's not just your body, right? It's how you make them feel emotionally you make this person feel like if they don't comply with your energy if they don't assimilate 
assimilate to your frequency, then they're going to be judged by the universe. Like this person is so terrified of, of losing you. They would come towards you even if they're not ready. So some of you could actually be feeling that right now. Like maybe it started off as something sexual, but now it's totally serious and you're serious. The whole idea of you is serious. Okay, hopefully some of you didn't suddenly like, you know, become pregnant or oh, really say that you're over this person. Hopefully that's not the case because it's like now they're 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 ready. Um see what I'm saying on the bottom of the deck I don't want to lose you. There is this fear of there's you making some sort of judgment call and it being the end of this connection. And maybe some of you have already done that and you're just curious, like, what is this reading about? That's what this reading is about. I definitely feel like this person wants to be back in your good graces. Um, if that is the case, if they want to know what you want, because the tower in and of itself can be confusing along with the moon. It's just a scary time for them in this connection they don't know where you stand or what decisions you're going to make i definitely get the vibe that the ball is in your court at this point what else are their thoughts oh you know this comes up a lot in a lot of my readings personal and even online whenever the person is not being truly authentic so their their fear is that your family won't like them there is this is when they're not being authentic 100 or when they have like unhealed trauma from their childhood okay this person could be dealing with childhood trauma and abandonment issues could be a thing for them also so just be careful and be mindful of that. Talk about your family to them. Do you think about me? For some of you, yeah, maybe you're not seeing this person. You're not around them. They want to know if you're thinking about them, what are you thinking about them? And yeah, you should reach out to them and let them know if you, if you, if you feel like they've been reaching out to you, okay? Um, sometimes I wonder if you even care. Yes. For some of you, they, they definitely, they just don't know. They just don't know where they stand with you sometimes. And it's like you guys could be mirroring each other with this energy. But sometimes they just don't know where they stand with you. And I definitely get that this is some crossroads energy. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, Aquarius energy is coming through also. This person's at a crossroad and it's just like, you know, something needs to change. Either they know, don't let them project on you. For some of you, I hear that they like to project this on you, right? When the tower is here, a great change is happening. The universe is interfering because there needs to be some foundations that are built on truth and that will have longevity so that you can be attached to your destiny. Sometimes a tower happens in your life when you detour from your destiny. It's like, almost like seeing 1111 without, you know, the action. This is the with the action, the physical occurrence. Something physically has happened and on emotional or spiritual with this person when it comes to you. And it's time. The universe has stepped in. And it's basically, it's just really time to make some sort of major decision on your part and this. If you, if you feel like you care about them, then you need to let them know that you care about them. If you really do feel like this, this that you made the right decision, and even though it's going to hurt you and hurt this person to walk away, make your decision okay this energy is effective immediately i kept hearing that even before i went into this reading okay so let's just see what can you expect this person to do next if you're not 
able to like speak to them at this time if you haven't spoken to them in a while if there's like faulty communication what can you expect this person to do next Okay, yeah, I, that's what I was kind of getting, the Empress energy. You can expect this person to be kind, to extend an olive branch, to t try to reconcile with you, to be kind to you, to care about your feelings. That's what you can expect this person to do next. I do get that this person has genuine feelings. There's just some healing that that's that they need to deal with from their childhood for some of you they could just wait sit around and wait and wish and hope that you will reach out to them that you will be the nurturing one that you will be the one who shows or sh or shares or open open your heart to them if you are not willing to do this for some of you i feel like this person could definitely just stay silent for a while try and soak over their what they're feeling try to process their emotions give them time if you feel like this resonates with you that's the wave that's the vibe thanks for watching this psychic tarot reading i hope it was helpful to you if you like this don't forget to press like share subscribe click the notification bell it really helps me when you do that namaste peace and love